there's 150 million users of cryptocurrencies. That network is growing at 113% a year. It's twice the speed of the internet. We have never had a technological adoption like this in all human history. In, in layman's terms, this is a $2 trillion asset class as of today. So if this is truly the asset class we think it is, and its, adopt, its adoption is growing as fast as this, the maths, just the simple adoption maths, suggest that it gets to 200 trillion by the end of the decade. That's 100x. From just over $1 trillion to $200 trillion by the end of the decade. That is what Raul Powell, the CEO of Real Vision, predicts for the crypto space. The former fund hedge manager and investor bases this prediction on the insane growth rate of the crypto industry. He explains that it is growing twice the rate at which the internet grew, making it the technology with the fastest rate of development in all of human history. With such an insane rate of adoption, it is easy to follow Powell's line of thought and see the crypto industry becoming very massive within the next few years. We will now take you to Powell's interview. But before we do, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ensure you drop all your thoughts, comments, and observations in the comment section below. Enjoy the video. We've had some big changes of these gigantic networks in our lives that are, are very new. It's driven by computational power. So first, computational power and silicon chips, they all kind of take off slowly and then they start going crazy, like the adoption of home computers. But that took like 20 years. Then mobile phones came along and that took... I don't know, 15, 20 years before it really got adopted in massive scale because it was expensive, everything else. Then the internet comes along. This is the fastest adoption of any technology the world has ever seen. So we go back to 1997. There was 150 million users of the internet. And that network of people was growing at 63% a year. The world had never seen anything adopted this fast. Wind forward to today. There's 150 million users of cryptocurrencies. That network is growing at 113% a year. It's twice the speed of the internet. We have never had a technological adoption like this in all human history. So what does yes. this mean? I'm going to break. What does this mean for people, right? Yeah. What it means is networks are valued in a different way to other things. They're valued by what's known as Metcalfe's law. Metcalfe's law states the value of a network is basically the number of people on the network, users, in this case, cryptocurrency owners, and then the number of interconnections, applications and other stuff. So if you think about, you know, my phone, right, when we first got a mobile phone, I could call you. Now it's a computer, right? The number of applications and everything else. So the value of all those mobile phone networks added together, plus Apple and everything else is like mind-blowingly big. So the value of crypto is really interesting because this is a network of money. We've seen these network models before, like Facebook. So Facebook is a big network. It's valued according to Metcalfe's law. But the difference with Facebook is we as users only get the benefit of the likes and the comments and connecting with our friends and family or, or using it for business. And Facebook shareholders made all the money. When you create a network of money, the more people come onto the network, everybody who comes onto the network owns a token. And the value of the token goes up the more people go into the network. So it's like ultra powerful. It's like behavioral economics 101 is give humans a network of money. They're going to make it go up in value and they're going to adopt it very fast. So that means for in, in layman's terms, this is a $2 trillion asset class as of today. All the other asset classes, equities, bonds, real estate, gold, you know, all of these things are bigger. Gold is about eight or 10 trillion. But equities, global equities, global bonds, global real estate, they're all between 150 and 350 trillion dollars. So if this is truly the asset class we think it is, and its, adopt its adoption is growing as fast as this, the maths, just the simple adoption maths, suggest that it gets to 200 trillion by the end of the decade. That's 100x. So if you think you're in the Middle East, if you think the wealth that happened in the Middle East from after the kind of Brits moved out and the, um, and the ruling families took over and discovered oil. That amount of wealth came fast, but it actually took a while. So there was like 20 or 30 years from the 50s to the 70s. And then that amount of wealth was huge. Same with Russia, what happened in Russia once they opened up. What we're doing here is going to create something much larger, totally global in scale, that allows people to make enormous amounts of money as we completely change the world's financial system and the world's business models. In his interview, Pal also talks about some of the basics of investing in the crypto space as a new investor. On the issue of clarity of definitions of different categories of crypto projects, 
Pal explains that what really matters is understanding the tailwind of the crypto space. According to Pal, new investors need to understand what drives the space. Why are people drawn to it? How does it grow? He also offers some simple suggestions on picking the best cryptocurrency exchanges and crypto assets to invest in. Please listen to his explanation here. And to get people across the line on this, just to interrupt a is you and I are talking right now. I have no idea what computer you're on, what phone network you're on, what uh, your internet speed is, what software you're running, anything. And you don't know any of mine. And we don't care. We don't need to know this stuff. Yes, you can become an expert. First, you need to know what is the tailwind here? What is driving this asset, this asset class higher? And once you think about that, you can think about, okay, I don't need to be the expert. I, it's all new. That's okay. I'm going to learn on the journey. So firstly, just choose one of the big reputable exchanges, particularly one that's regulated somewhere, um, because that's going to give you a further comfort. So, you know, there's stuff like Coinbase or Kraken. There's a bunch of these that are big, globalized opportunities. Binance is somewhat different because it's it's kind of regulated in some countries, not in others, everything else. So you choose the risk level you want. Binance is amazing because of all the products you can trade. But just simply you choose one of the really big exchanges. Um, and then from that, once you've decided that, then you can start thinking about it. How I did it very simply, and I suggest everybody does it, is don't go diving off the end of some token that somebody randomly to told you about in a bar. Go about it intelligently and say, okay, the two big exposures here are Bitcoin and Ethereum. Let me just weight my portfolio by their market cap weighting. So that's a pretty easy place to start. Then put it in your portfolio and get to understand the volatility, what it feels like to own this. Because you haven't had an asset class like this before that's so volatile. So you're going to have to learn to fight your own psyche, which is panicking when it goes down, getting euphoric when it goes up. You have to realize it's a long-term investment because we're talking about something that's going from 2 trillion to 200 trillion over 10 years that you need to not think about, much like stuff in your retirement account you don't think about, and let it grow. Let's have a quick look at the markets before we go. Bitcoin, the world's largest cryptocurrency, has continued its extended consolidation between $29,000 and $31,000. As of press time, the coin has once again soared above $31,000 and is now exchanging hands at $31,200. However, it is still down by over 38% since the beginning of the year. Ethereum has also recovered some of yesterday's loss. The native token has increased by over 2% since midnight and is now exchanging hands at $1,815. The question now is when does the consolidation end and does Bitcoin go up or down? Please drop your predictions as well as comments on Raul Powell's interview in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks for watching.